Hey guys, um, so today I'm going to be showing you how to burn your own CD mixtapes. Um, so you may not think that burning a CD mixtape is very fun, but it actually is because you get to do your own artwork and you get to order your own tracks and put your own spin on it and listen to it in a different way with extra songs and you can carry it around with you and you don't have to worry about scratching it because um, it's you know, just a copy of it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so what you'll need to do this is um, you'll need a DVD CD drive. Um, any any that supports CDs will do. Um, yeah, so there's um, also a couple programs you need. You need um, CD Burner XP, or I guess you can really use anything that burns CDs, but this is what I like to use. Um, and it works pretty well for what I want it to do. Um, so this is the installer. You can get it on the website. Um, I'll put it in the description. Um, but here, so what you have to do is, is run this. Click run. Uh, click yes. Accept. Uh, you don't need any of these languages unless you speak them and you can click next. Uh, you don't really need to click any of these unless you want to except for um, the install button. Ex uh, but I don't actually need to install this right now. I've already done it. So, um, just to show you how uh, I've done it now. But yeah, um, so once you click that and it will install, and then you can open it like I'm going to now. Um, so you click, click that, um, and it'll just launch it. It'll take a couple seconds, but um, don't worry, it's not broken. Yep. So when it pops up, uh, this is what you'll see, and you click audio disc um, for, for what we're doing. So what you want to do is you need you need to have your music, right? You need to have um, something to burn. So what I've got is I've ripped uh, a CD of mine and I've also got some other songs that I want to put on there as well. So I've put them in this folder and I've got my extra songs here. Um, you don't have to do it the way I'm doing it, but this is the way I'm doing it. So what you want to do is you want to drag um, one of your songs or just make sure it's in the order you want it um, and then uh, if, if, you, if you need to remove them click remove or if you want to add from here you can add from here uh, and if you want to clear the whole thing you click clear um, so in my one I've got 14 songs and, and that fills up nearly all the disc it's 56 minutes, I think it can hold about 80 minutes. But when you're done making your compilation, I'm going to click burn right here. So it's right here. Um, so it'll pop up with this little window now. And uh, what you want to do is select... Oh, you can leave that. It'll probably automatically fill it in to whatever speed your thing can do. You don't need to enable CD text, but if you want to, you can put it on. Um, <coughs> And here's where you set the length between tracks. You don't have to do this. Uh, Cross-fading, you also don't have to do that. Um, and you don't really need to eject it after, but if you want to do that, I'd recommend doing that. It's fun. You don't have to press the button. It's a whole less button to press. Um, it's good. So, I'm done now, so what I'm going to do is press burn disk. Actually, uh, you do want to press finalize if this is all you're going to do to it. So, uh, you want to click burn disk. And it'll load it. Yep. So then it'll pop up with this window, and it'll um, and it'll start burning. It's spinning up. Um, yeah, it's going pretty well. So I'll see you when um, when it's done. Okay. So I'm back. Um, it's finished now, and it, it will usually just look like this, and then this will pop up. Um, and then it'll eject if you selected that. Um, it should only take like five, ten minutes. Really depends on how fast your CDR can go. You just close those windows, and w and when you're done, you can have a look and and you can see it worked. Um, so I'm gonna eject it now, and we can test it in my CD player. Okay. So here's my CD player, and um, let's check. Maybe the truth. Oh. 
Yeah, wax. Okay, that's good. Minutes. All right, now take it out. Okay, so um, for decorating, I, I usually like to use sharpies because they stay on really well. But um, if you make a mistake, they're relatively easy to take it off. These are alcohol-based. Um, so they can be removed with alcohol, um, isopropyl alcohol, which you can get pretty easily. Okay, so I'm back. Um, so I've just done my design uh, with my Sharpie. Um, yes, it's not the cleanest thing ever. There's smudges and stuff, but... Um, who really cares? This is for me, anyway. <laughs> um, I couldn't find my, um, my remover, so... I also did some words on the edges as well to kind of like my favorite little quotes from the album. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, that's you can really do whatever you want, and it's really fun to kind of just explore that. Um, but yeah, that's that's the end of the video. So hope you guys enjoyed this one, um, and I'll see you next time. Bye.